Hey everyone, today we're going to look at installing and setting up your first Vuforia project uh, with Unity. So let's get started. Now Vuforia is a fantastic SDK to get you started in developing A or applications. They take care of a lot of the problems around object recognition, uh, mapping, etc. Um, so really a great way to get started into augmented reality, introduce you to some of the concepts and within uh, by the end of this tutorial you'll have your first uh, augmented reality app. Okay, so to get started, we need to go to the developer portal and register. So let's go to dev portal up here. So that's developer.vuforia.com and we need to register a new account. Let's register. Now that we're verified and registered, uh, it's time to log in. So just click on the login in the top left. After you've logged in, it usually takes you straight to the download SDK page. Otherwise, you click downloads here and uh, SDK. So for this uh, uh, tutorial, we're going to use the, the Unity plugin. So here we go, download for Unity. We'll agree. And download. Now, while that's downloading, one other thing we need to do is set up our license key. So Let's go over to develop here. And now we need to add a license key or create your first license key. So let's click create here. So add in your application name, Vuforia getting started app. Um, are you developing on mobile or digital eyewear? So in this case, we're developing on mobile and our license, our license key is starter, no charge. They also have uh, different uh, fees in terms of your classic or cloud, depending on what type of commercial app you're rolling out. But we're just doing the tutorial, so let's just start with the uh, starter and click next. And now we need to click to confirm below. So now on our license manager page, we have our Vuforia getting started app first license key. Let's click on that. So next up, we want to set up our image that we're going to track from. So that's basically going to be our augmented reality base or our base image that uh, we're going to print out and that will allow us to um, track the image on top of it. So let's create that. So let's enter a name here for our database. So target images and we're going to keep it on the device for now. Okay, so there we have it, target images database created. So you can think of your target images database as basically the set or collection of different images that your uh, device is going to be able to recognize, map and work with. So we're going to add our first image that's going to be recognizable to the app to that database. So let's click on target images here. Okay, and now we want to add a target. So we've got a couple of different options here. We've got single image, cuboid, cylinder, 3D object. Um, so um, for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to stick with single image, the most basic, just to get us started. But these are great to explore at a later date. So you can use any type of image you like for the tracking image. Um, but it's best to stick to some of the guidelines that are laid out here in uh, the image targets guide here in Vuforia. So that'll step you through what's good to use. Now, if you go over to um, the developer portal again, downloads and samples, uh, you can download some of the sample packages here, which will give you some of the image targets we can use. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use Vuforia stones.jpg. So it's basically an image that looks like this. Lots of tracking points. Next thing we need to do is enter the width of the target scene. So basically the width units here are scene units. So there's 50 uh, units we're talking about here. And that's going to be important later on when we're creating um, 
our object that we want to appear. And of course, it needs a unique uh, uh, name when it's being added to the uh, uh, image database. Okay, great, let's go. So after a short upload, we're taken back to the developer portal, and here we see our image before he has stones. So this is pretty cool here. We have um, the rating of our image. So this is basically telling us um, how many, uh, I guess, tracking or feature points in terms of computer vision um, are in our image. Let's take a look here. Now, if we look at show features down here, yeah, so we've got lots of feature points here that are mapped. So this means that we're going to have um, great tracking from this image. And this feature can be used for any image that you upload uh, to test basically what how augmentable it is or what the augmentable score is, as you can see here. So back in Target Manager, Target Images again, um, in this view, what we now want to do is download our database for Unity. So let's click on that here. So we're downloading for the Unity editor in this case. And hit download. So that took a couple of seconds to run through. And essentially what we're left with is a target underscore images dot Unity package for import to Unity. So now we have our license key set up, we have our uh, target image set up, it's now time to get started in Unity. Okay, so let's set up a new Unity project. And we've set up a folder here um, in Unity before you're getting started. It needs to be a 3D project also. And click create project. Great, okay, so now we have Unity loaded. I love this fresh scene, it's so full of promise. Okay, so now we wanna to go to Assets in the top menu, and then we wanna to go to Import uh, Package and Custom Package. So you'll be presented with a, um, a, a dialog box where you pick out the first package we want to import. So the first package is the target images.unity package which is basically the image database where we added our the picture of our euphoria stones that we're going to use as a tracking object so um, this is the next thing you'll see when you click import target images we want to make sure everything is checked great and then click import okay so the second thing we need to import is the uh, unity Euphoria package that we downloaded earlier on in the tutorial. So we go to assets, import package, custom package. You'll see the dialog box to uh, find that file. Click on it, import it, and uh, then it'll be uh, uh, you hit import new on the dialog box just as you did before. And all your packages and assets will now appear in this bottom dialog here. So now we have all our packages set up, let's um, yeah, get to some of the good stuff. Let's add in the 3D object that we want to represent. So you want to go to Windows and uh, Asset Store. Cool. So here you can search for any kind of model that you want. Um, you know, for the purpose of demonstration, just hit free only as one of your filters. Um, you can see lots of different models you can pull in here. We're gonna use uh, Cyber Soldier. Here we go. So let's download this. And that's going to take a few seconds to download. Let's that, let's let that work away. Okay, now it's done. We click import and we hit import this asset. Okay, so now we need to add the uh, cyber soldier to our 
uh, target image. So let's go to my assets here in the side view, open Cyber Soldier, and click on the Cyber Soldier model. So we can drag this up onto the scene here. Perfect. Okay, now let's set its positioning to zero, zero, and zero. And let's build it up to maybe a size of 20. Scale it up. Okay, great. That's looking good. Next thing we need to do is make sure that the cyber soldier is a child of our image. Okay, so by, do, by going to the hierarchy panel here on the left hand side, we can grab Cyber Soldier and then pull it down over the AR camera, sorry, over the uh, image target and drop that. So now you'll see that uh, Cyber Soldier is now a child of image target. With all that done, we have to um, initiate or set up the, the, the image target database that we set up earlier on. So you do that by going to A or camera here in the hierarchy and then scroll down through your inspector view here and you will see a database load behavior script and load target images. So that's our data set that we, we created earlier on via developer.euphoria.com. So let's click on that and also check activate. Okay, so now it's getting to the really exciting part. Um, if you haven't already done so, you'll want to print out your um, those that stone image, that high-res stone image uh, from your printer. Doesn't matter if it's black and white, um, that'll work just as well. So you also want to make sure you've got your webcam set up. Um, I'm working off a Mac here, so if you look at your webcam behavior here, you see that the camera device is FaceTime HD camera, so that's basically the the Apple built-in camera. So hopefully everything is in place, and we're just going to run here within Unity by pressing play at the top of the screen. Okay, there you go. There's our view. So you can see here, powered by Vuforia here on the left-hand side, and here is our image. Ta-da! Now that's pretty cool, isn't it? Tracks really well. Let's move it up close. Oh, it disappeared. Yeah, you just tilt it towards the camera and picks it up again. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's see how it does for distance. Let's pick it up again. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Tracking, I'm really impressed by. It's pretty fast. And even works quite well, I think, when part, part of the image is obscured. Lots of feature points on this, on this here, so it'll still track. Now, if I use two hands, cover over it all together, now we, we've lost it. Yeah, and there you go. So that's the benefit of having so many feature points on the image here to track. Pretty cool. Okay, so round about now, you've been able to run the demo in Unity, you've been able to track from your image to show whatever model you decided to use, and you're probably feeling pretty chuffed with yourself. Tap, uh, pat on the back there, that's pretty awesome. So the next logical step is that you would export this to whatever mobile device um, that you want to try it out on. Okay, so how do you do that? So you'll have your own specific settings dependent on your mobile device, but um, here I'm going to show you how to do it for Android, specifically uh, Project Tango Android. So we go to File, Build Settings, Uh, we've selected Android. Now let's go to player settings. Okay, so in the other setting, first of all, we need to add our company name and the name of whatever the product name is or the, the, the 
demo that you're running. You need to go to uh, what's important here. Okay, yeah, so you need to set your bundle identifier. Yeah, com.sinscast.fuforia. Um, you set your minimum API level. Typically, you can leave that as uh, gingerbread if you like, or in this case, I've upped it to 4.2, uh, which is um, what's best suited for Project Tango. And let me see what else, what, what, what else have we got here? Yeah, that should be about it. Now, one other thing we need to do before we run is we need to add any open scenes. So I've already saved this scene. If you haven't, you would go to uh, File, Save Scene, and then your saving scene, make sure it's in the Assets folder of the project that you're building, okay? And then this should uh, give you uh, in the build settings then you can add any open scenes and it'll it'll pull that in there so we're looking at I named it Vuforia scene one okay so I have connected my Android uh, device and I've, which has debugging uh, mode set up on it via USB uh, so that means it should automatically detect it and um, I just hit build and run Oh yeah, sorry, I need to save the Android build, so we'll call it build1, and it's in Vuforia getting started. Yeah, let's replace that. Okay, I'm going to let it compile. Okay, so here we have our fully compiled Android app. Um, it's been deployed to this Android device, device in this case, which is Project Tango, um, via USB and uh, it seems to be working great tracking is working fine and everything we have a watermark for powered by Vuforia and of course you can remove that um, once you go for a commercial license but so hopefully this tutorial has been really helpful in getting you started with Vuforia and has whet your appetite for developing more apps in AR stay tuned and subscribe to this channel and you'll get more information and uh, more updated tutorials on getting started in AR and of course Vuforia and Project Tango. Thanks for listening guys.